In this video, I'm going to show you the reverse reverb uh, vocal ad lib effect. It's pretty simple, so I'm going to try showing you as quick as I can. Also, if you did find this video helpful, please do like and subscribe. My Discord's in the description, so if you want to join that, just click the link in the description. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, firstly, we have uh, a song here made by my friend. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's like a rage kind of song. But basically what we're going to do is add the uh, vocal effect right here at the beginning. So just have a, re uh, a reverse vocal thing here. So it's very simple what you want to do. First, you want to click, double click on the thing that you want to like reverse reverb. So you double click on this because I want to reverse reverb that. Then go to your mixer. Doesn't matter. Just go to any insert. So I'm just going to use uh, insert 15. Then just go more plugins, search up Edison, open Edison. All right, so once you have Edison, you want to close this down and you just want to drag this sample that you got from the part that you want to re uh, reverse and just drag it into Edison like this. And then things will play, but you just double click that and it will stop because the whole beginning will start playing. But now you have the whole Edison track. So what you want to do with that now you have Edison, you don't need this anymore. But basically you want to find the person, the, the, like the beginning of the uh, singing. So my bit would be right there. In this so you probably want to so what you do is you click and delete and you can press alt to make it more fine so then uh, I don't think any of this let me just check so yeah so then I want to delete all this beginning this bit here because I don't need it so just get the red bit and then press the delete button and then I don't need all of this beginning bit here so getting that so all I think I want is just that tiny bit there so what I'm gonna do because you just want the smallest most clean part of the actual um, of the actual vocals Okay, so now once you've got this tiny bit, you want to find the part that you actually just because you want to find like one bit that you can just loop a lot. So we gotta, we gotta. So I think it's this bit. I think it's that bit. We got, we got, we got, we got, we got. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm gonna reverse that bit there. So I just get there. Uh, just remove all this beginning bit first. Yeah. Just remove all that. Press delete and then remove all this bit here. Yeah, and now we just have that. So next, what you want to do is you want to press Control A, then Control C, and then Control V to duplicate it. So now you have two. Then you want to select all of it again, and you want to press this uh, blur effect. Click on it, press Accept. Now it should sound like this. And the next thing you want to do is you want to add a uh, reverb. So you click on the reverb, make sure the wet's the whole way up and the dry's the whole way down, and add, make sure add tails on. Just copy all these settings, then press Accept. And now it should sound something like this. So now the final thing all you want to do is just re reverse that. So you click on this little cog, which is called tools. Click on that. Scroll down to uh, reverse and click on that. So now it should be working. So it sounds like this. But you're not done there. So basically next thing you want to do is you want to press center playlist audio clips. So you click on that and now it's there. So next thing you want, you want to bring it in. You want to check what vocal, uh, you want to check what inserts on. So it's still on 15. So I'm going to bring it down to six where all my, uh, all my actual, uh, my actual preset is. So look, it's number six has all my vocal effects. So yeah, now it should sound like this because it has all the vocal effects, which sounds way better already. And then basically now what you want to just do is align it with the part that you stopped. So also you probably want to turn it down a bit because it's always a bit too loud. So I'm going to turn it down to like, 50% let me just hit that yeah that's good okay so then you want to get it to the to the exact part where it stops okay I think that's good all right and then the next thing you want to do just because the tails like slightly too long and not annoying so you want to click this down arrow you want to press automate volume okay and then you just want to bring this down make sure it's selected and go like that all this will do is just turn the volume up as it's going. So you probably want to make it a bit more like that. And now it sounds like this. And there you go. It's as simple as that. It's really not that hard. All right. Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please do like and subscribe. It really does help me out. But I'm going to play the full thing now. But anyways, thanks guys for watching. Goodbye. The back is kind. I need a man, but you know you are. I see the water, we go to the stars. Switch up a flat, then we go to Mars. Head so far, now I have these scars. Oh, and I play this game like FIFA. She's so crazy, I call her a diva. Smoke that down to the bone, go deeper. You see me all you days, you're a reaper. Wanna get some, so I'll go, I beef her. Give her a ring and I might.